Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable previous version of Windows files and folders to be automatically backed up on your computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what we're going to do to begin this tutorial is open up the start menu, type in control panel, press match to come back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then select the system option. On the left side, select system protection in this column here. So go ahead and select that. So if protection settings are turned off or whatever drive you want to re-enable previous versions for, so let's say most people are going to have a C drive or a local disk where most of your files and folders are backed up, you can see protection is currently turned off. So we're going to have to go ahead and turn that on by selecting the configure button. Turn on system protection, so select that option here underneath restore settings. By enabling system protection, you can undo undesired changes by reverting your computer to a previous point in time. And for disk space usage, you can go ahead and scroll this over as far over to the right as you'd like. Just be mindful of what 100% is. That means 100% of your hard drive size. So generally speaking, probably about 10 to 15% is what I would suggest. Could be a little bit more or less, depending on how large your hard drive is. Go ahead and select Apply and OK. And select OK again. So then periodically, there will be backups of any system files you have on your drives that you select there. So if I were to go underneath this PC, for example, and then if I were to go underneath my user's account, and then there were documents in here. Let's say there's a documents folder right here, and I were to right-click on it and select properties. And I select previous versions. You'll see once you start having the system backup protection, you'll notice that there will start being lists in here of previous versions of this folder. So that's pretty much how it works, guys. So you would have to set that up in advance. You can't go backward. So you can't realize that you should have done something in hindsight and you didn't do it. Unfortunately, it's too late for that unless you're going to go to a data recovery expert or run a different third-party application that should hopefully be able to recover some files, assuming they're not corrupted already. But generally speaking, this is probably what I recommend in best practice, just to have that restore created already, just so you have it if you need it. You know, nothing's foolproof, but it definitely helps. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.